So today I am going to be painting these chipboard floors. So this loft is temporary. This loft makeover is temporary. If you want to go and see the loft makeover, then I will link it up above. But this video is just concentrating on how I have painted my chipboard floors. So I won't ramble on much longer, but yet this is temporary. So I don't want to buy carpet. I don't want to buy flooring. Um, so I just want to make what's here look a lot nicer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've already hoovered. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my paint and go around the edges and paint it. So what I have already done is painted these chipboard floors with a primer. I painted this with a primer probably back in February, perhaps it's now September. So yeah, that's one thing that I haven't got to show you on camera, but yeah, so the floor is primed with a masonry primer. I am going to be using Lick Taupe 01. So this is a matte finish, and obviously I do not want a matte floor because that will just wreak havoc. I don't want to buy new paint. I do want this color. So in order to not waste anything, I'm using this colour and then what I intend to do then is seal or varnish at the end with a satin lacquer so that it's not matte anymore. So that's what I'm going to go and do first. I'm going to paint around the edges. Oh, wish me luck. noticed that it's going to need a second coat which is totally fine i'm also going to fill the gaps with um caulk or cork or whatever way you like to pronounce it and um, so i'll probably do that tonight after work and then i'll probably do another coat i am loving it though remember this is going to have a stencil going on it so any like imperfections are really going to be hidden so that's good news um but yeah i really like the color i think it's a little bit different to white it's very neutral at the same time Okay, so my stencils have finally arrived. I bought four of them. I got them off AliExpress, so they took a little while to come, but it was only £12 for all four. And if you know me, I'm not a very patient person, so the fact that I can do four in one go is just exactly what I need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape them all together and then use them as like a big pattern for the floor. I'm going to be using and I'm going to use black 01 for the pattern. Um, I think it, th this has got really good coverage, so I think instead of using a wood paint, which is what I was going to use, which would need quite a few coats, I'll use this one so that I only have to do one coat. What you want to really do is make sure that you've got as little paint on the brush uh, roller as possible. sense that you can be a little bit messy with it there um, and as well you can't really see the chipboard 
the um the cracks in the chipboard anymore which whoo is something that i am very happy about because that's what i wanted to do was try and disguise how bad the chipboard floors were actually <laughs> looking so yeah um 10 out of 10 i think it's pretty good <laughs> parquet floor in the kitchen, parquet floor in the bedroom, I've used it on other wood pieces like my table and I love it and I'm confident it will do a good job up here. So I'm just, I've got this as a nearly empty tin so I'm going to finish this off and then use the other tin as well. So it shouldn't take me long to do this now, I'll use a long pole and a normal sized roller, I reckon 10 minutes and I'll be sorted, for layer one anyway. into a new house and you can't afford carpet just yet then I think this is a really good alternative to save you money for now and wait until you've got cash to buy the carpet or if you've pulled up your carpet recently and you were hoping to find lovely floorboards but you were presented with these chipboard floors then there is a possibility to spruce them up and make them look a lot better so I think um, I will uh, I've done two coats of sealer and obviously one coat of each color of the paint and yeah, I think I've just, I dropped some green paint on it yesterday and it wiped straight up. So that's exactly what we wanted um, to make sure that it's wipeable and easy to be used in a home. So yeah, I shall leave that there. If you liked this video, then please give me a like or um, subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot of different videos like this coming up. And this floor was part of my loft makeover, which you can go and watch as well if you 